good afternoon or <clears throat> good morning kaninyong tanan uh, first of all my family Verna, my daughter Robert, my son-in-law children Rachel, Marie and Joshua Evan my son Evan, Vic Ruby, my daughter-in-law no, and their only child Christian, Ian we would like to sincerely and honestly appreciate, extend our appreciation for you taking your time out <clears throat> and joining us today in celebrating Pansing's life. Karong Adlawa, mao ang memorial service ninyo diha in honor of uh, uh, Pansing. And before that, Aniang iyang earn sa akong kitid. <clears throat> Karon pa gi mail sa kumpanya from the Trident Society. And her remains are here. The ashes are here. Uh, there is a apartment namo. So today is the memorial service in her honor. And it's truly a celebration of victory of her life. A promotion to phase three in God's perfect plan. <clears throat> Her homecoming to our forever family and forever home in heaven. Now with our omnipotent and omniscient God in His presence is fullness of joy. In His right hand are pleasures forever. Matud pala sa Psalm 1611 and where the streets of the eternal city is pure gold. Revelation 21.21 O kita nasayod sa doktrina nga diha sa Salmo 116.15 ang pulong sa Diyos na gingon Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints. Pansing as she is uh, Finally called by her friends, even Derisa America. She had fought the good fight, and she had finished the race and kept the faith. Second Timothy four seven. And Daganganinyo na sayod nga. We just celebrated our golden wedding anniversary almost four months ago. And today is another celebration of her life. A promotion, a victory, a homecoming, Nipan Singh. And uh, just, just to describe some sa iyang uh, trait as a person, nagamoyon nga she was small, but terrible, a strong-willed woman, resilient, with her unswerving and unfaltering faith in Jesus Christ, unselfish devotion to her family, caring and thoughtful wife and mother, and the uh, Gancanino Sayod is a good cook. But most of all, to her, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians 21.1 and in phase two life, Nia, as a believer, Bible doctrine was her life. We know from God's word that that's the key to be a winner in life. Again, salamat ninyo nga Nia mi doyong sa among pagbangutan on Pansing's homecoming. In this victory celebration of Pansing's homecoming, kitang mga magtutuo should recall the grace of God. Although our fond memories of Pansing's 73 years stay on earth would stir sorrow and tenderness, let us rejoice in knowing that he is now in a place of no more sorrow, no more tears, no more suffering, no more death. The old things are passed away. And she is 
in the residence in heaven. So wonderful that the description of its glory cannot be comprehended by mortal men. He is, she is securely in the hands of our Lord in eternal happiness, in perfect contentment. So, Nisayud kita, when the clock strikes for us, we shall go, not one minute early, not one minute late. There is nothing to fear then, and it's time for us to go. Kaya ang mga saad sa Diyos are true, for they have been fulfilled in our lifetime, time and again. And uh, it's true we may have concerns about the days ahead. Upon ang pulo sa Diyos na igon, we do not know what will happen tomorrow. But we do know that whatever happens, He will always be with us. And that knowledge can lighten any burden, makapagaan, of worry about the future. Yet the grace of God and by the comfort of His Spirit, we can face tomorrow's terrors with courage. Yes, physical death is a fact of life. It is inevitable. But man does not know and has no control of his death, only God. Ang pagbiya na ipansin ka na ito was a perfect timing sa Diyos. She was ripe to be taken home, but she was prepared with all the Bible doctrine resident in her soul na iyang nabound and uh, to carry through sa pag uh, imamat sa atong Diyos. Ginoo Kristo. So kanin yung tanan salamat sa inyong pagduyom. O amo lamang ikalipay inyong mga <coughs> pagampo samtang nagaagi sa ordeal si Pansing and uh, ang tod sa iyang katapusang paginhawang gikita siya sa Diyos. O she is in the best place, not better place. That's why I always tell my friends and relatives here in the States that it's not goodbye. It is see you later. Okay, sooner or later, we will follow her. And again, uh, my family would like to thank everyone. Our family, friends, and relatives who comforted and uh, supported us and were behind us in our great loss. Salamat kaninyo. We would reiterate to say that Pan Singh's departure was never a goodbye. As believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have that confidence in Him, in the Lord. Total confidence in God's ironclad guarantee and assurance of a home in heaven. And we learn that from God's Word. And speaking of Pan Singh's demise, her departure is the sovereign decision of God's infallible wisdom, impeccable integrity, and unqualified love for us. Christians being citizens of heaven, Matur Paganas of Philippians 3.20. God's perfect justice and righteousness guarantee that he is absolutely fair in his decision regarding Pan Singh's death or any believer's death. Numerous passages in the Word of God instruct us believers not to fear death because death for a believer is going to sleep and who is afraid to sleep, to go to sleep? In fact, death is going home and who is afraid to go home? Death is arriving face to face with the Lord. And who is afraid to be face to face with the Lord? Angay na itong inumduman that death is God's victory. In Psalms 116, 15, God's word says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death 
of his sins. Yes, we do grieve. Grieving is legitimate and normal. But with it, we ought to hold on to God's word. In 1 Thessalonians 4.13 But we do not want to be uninformed, brethren, about those who are asleep, meaning physical Christian death, that you may grieve as do the rest who have no hope. Truly in Christ, we believers do not despair over our losses as do unbelievers who have no hope. Salamat sa inyong pagtambong karong hapuna o muntaga. Till we meet again. Nagkasalamat.